Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to do something completely different and I'm going to batch cook a load of meals for the freezer which um, you can just grab out the bag, dump it into the slow cooker or quickly fry it off or whatever. So bear with me because I've never done anything like this before and I need as much working space as possible except for my food processor which we're going to use first because I'm going to chop a lot of onion. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Diet Coke sauce. Now I'm not going to do much pre-cooking because that kind of defeats the object really um, of batch cooking and batch preparing. But I'm going to make this sauce because if you just put the ingredients, excuse me, I'm running nose through the onions. If you just put the um, ingredients in the bag, the, the chicken will be cooked before the Diet Coke has had a chance to reduce down and become a nice thick sauce. So I'm going to reduce that down now. It takes quite a while, so that can be doing whilst, uh, whilst you're preparing other things. So, decent sized pan on. I'm going to get of either Diet Coke, Coke Light So I'm going to dump in some onion If you've never had Diet Coke chicken or gammon before you probably think what is she on? But it's nice, it's, it ends up like a barbecue sauce Okay, so that sauce can just do its own thing for a little while. I will add some more ingredients to it when it starts bubbling and stuff. But I want to get these done because I've just bought these from Mercadona and they're frozen pieces, which is the cheapest way of doing it. Okay, so I've got the Ziploc bags. I'm going to put my fish in there. back to uh, the Diet Coke chicken. It needs quite a heavy dose of salt because it's sweet so you need to sort of counteract that sweetness a little bit. And I'm making a double batch so I don't tend to salt anything when I cook so when I come to actually make it in the slow cooker I won't be putting any salt in. good slug of balsamic vinegar, also that gives it a bit of sweet and sour kind of effect really. Worcestershire sauce. Good slug of that. And either passata, sipped tomatoes, and I've got here kind of chopped tomatoes. I'm going to put some garlic in there as well. Because I'm batch cooking, I'm going to use this frozen chopped garlic. Lots of garlic. Okay. I'm also going to put garlic in all of these fish dishes. Cilantro in. I'm going to use lime. Coriander and lime is a classic combo. I'm going to do a chicken dish with the same flavours as well. So squeeze that in. Half a lime should do it. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do. Turn around slightly. Is um, boil up some chicken breasts. I bought loads and loads of chicken breasts. Ugh. So what I'm going to do is drop them into this pan of cold water. Oh, everything's falling out. Oh, just found a piece of fish. 
Um, and then they'll just boil with no flavourings added, nothing. And when they're cooked, you've got basically cooked chicken, sandwiches, salads, drop it into soups, make um, fajitas. I'm not going to bother cleaning it because it's much easier afterwards. I'm going to put in eight, I think I've got here. It's quicker than roasting it, up to the boil and then simmer it for maybe about an hour. This piece of salmon, I'll just put some garlic in and some soy sauce. Ooh, that comes out quick. And some Asian type flavourings. I think I've got a Chinese fried spice in here somewhere. Yes, I have. So we'll have a Chinese inspired salmon. Okay. I won't cook all that sauce, that'll just be marinating the, the fish when I come to pan fry it. It'll just give it flavour. Okay, now we're moving on to beef. I've got some of this pre-chopped, it says for stewing. Uh, so one box of this does three meals, so there's three of us in the family, so that's one evening meal, and some leftover, so maybe one, maybe two lunches the next day. Okay, that's the vegetables chopped for the stew type version. You can see I've done parsnips and carrots. With the meat, the onions, the garlic, parsnips and carrots. So we'll, we'll add rosemary and stick. So we'll put oregano in the other one. Okay, I'm not going to put any stock in there we like a lot of gravy so I'm just going to leave it as the vegetables and the meat and then when I come to put it in slow cooker I'll add stock to it at that point. Just found that in the back of the cupboard. Let's whack it in there. Oh, the kids are going to hate it. No mind. And obviously, serve this with rice or noodles. Right, it's nice because we've got a sauce in here, I really want to make sure that that, that sauce gets to the meat and penetrates it and then marinates it whilst it's sat in the freezer for however long until we get around to eating it. Okay, staying on the Asian theme. I'm going to do it for myself because the kids won't touch this with a barge pole. Sweet and sour chicken. Again, keeping the peppers quite chunky. is I've got two turkey legs, I'll show you those, you can buy them like that from McDonough and it's not just the drum there, it's the sort of the thigh as well, super tasty, I love dark meat on turkey, um, that was 324, I'm just going to, I've got two of those, I'm going to roast them, take all the meat off, some of it will stay in the fridge for sandwiches and salads and things, some of it I will um, freeze. So you can just pop it in curries or turkey fajitas. I've even done turkey or pulled pork, that's another one. Um, lasagna. So instead of doing the bolognese sauce, you layer it up with meat with some passata. Passata goes a long way in this house, we couldn't get by without it. Or do like a turkey carbonara. I'm going to 
cheat on the sauce. I could make my own sweet and sour sauce with um, sugar-free Fanta or Fizzy Orange and stuff like that. But I've tried that um, recipe and I don't like it. Maybe I did something wrong. I did try it quite some years ago. But I'm not going to overload it. I'm just going to put, put a bit in for flavour and some moisture so it looks like dry food. pretty much it for the bagging up we've got several meals there I'm going to count them up at the end there's the Diet Coke sauce bubbling away if you wanted to you could um, blend this at the end to make it nice and smooth I wouldn't really recommend sieving it because then you get rid of the onion and the tomatoes and things like that so you could blend it but that's still got quite a long way to go because it's still quite thin more of a liquid than it is a sauce at the moment so it's still got quite a lot of bubbling to do here's the chicken that we're just boiling in water or simmering in water all to do now really is to wait for these to finish this is going to go with some chicken breasts that's going to get chopped up shredded okay so here's pretty much the finished product um, we've got one bag of just Diet Coke sauce on its own and one with the chicken so that's three, four, five, six meals well count them up in the end so there's three chicken breasts in there there's the beef and oyster sauce with the vegetables there's sweet sour chicken two lots of those coriander and lime chicken breasts two lots of those lime and coriander salmon lemon and garlic salmon lemon and garlic cod Chinese salmon and two beef stews and then off camera I've just shredded up the um, boiled chicken into four bags there's two breasts in each just chunked up ready to throw in a curry or a salad or whatever just dead quick that can be done from frozen as well straight from the freezer in the frying pan bosh uh, the two turkey legs are in the oven so we've got 29 meals plus the turkey legs there's probably 12 meals on the two turkey legs in how long did that take me two hours and i stopped to had had lunch so that's not bad is it so i'm going to make sure these are all nice and flat lay them in the freezer like that and then when they're actually frozen you can stack them up like books i've written on the bags as well what they are okay thanks for joining me i hope that helped and giving you a bit of inspiration and motivation to spend a couple of hours cooking or well not cooking but prepping so you don't have to do it in the week when you come home tired from work or school or whatever okay thanks very much for watching see you again soon